All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the autoresponders in FlexiFunnels and how to pass data to autoresponders. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, create a new page so that, you know, I can give you the hint from the uh, idea from the scratch itself, right? So let's say Flexi auto responder. all right? Now one thing that you need to be sure is that you have connected your autoresponders. Now that is something which is a must, right? So you need to go to the settings and make sure that the autoresponders are connected over there, right? Now, what do you need to do next, okay? You come to Flexi and over here, uh, you go to section and uh, maybe a two column. Okay, let me also, you know, do a bit of form designing for you so that you have the idea, uh, you know, just to, just in case how to do the form styling, not just show you the, uh, uh, you know how to how to make the form and connect the form so what I've done is uh, so basically this is a page that we had made recently so I'm gonna um, uh, copy some of it not I'm not gonna do the entire page designing just to save some time but uh, you know just to give you a bit of idea so I've copied this text over here and uh, maybe I will make it left align uh, make it white all right and uh, similarly this text over here and once again, I'm gonna left align this, maybe reduce the size a bit, all right, and uh, make it white once again. And now over here in this particular column, <coughs> I'm gonna pick the element form, all right? Now this is something which is important. Now over here, let's suppose I'm gonna also gonna do some, um, uh, you know, some designing just to ensure that you are aware of that as well. Now let's suppose I want to increase the form size and do a bit of this thing, call to action is let me in. So let me also take care of that. You need to first of all go to sizing, uh, increase the size a bit, just in what case you want to increase the size. Uh, then you go to form styling. Uh, let's suppose you want to change the button, uh, you know, the button text, you want to make it, let me in, all right. Uh, okay, yeah, this is fine. Uh, maybe make it bold, you wanna increase the size a bit, you can do that. Um, what about the button color? Maybe you wanna make it red, all right, good to go. Uh, what about button width? Okay, let's have a look at this. Let me make it full width, right? And uh, yeah, button alignment is good. Uh, so yeah, we have the form over here, right? I can, I can, you know, do more of the styling just in case, but again, just to show you that, okay, you know, you can do any kind of styling. Uh, you wanna change the uh, input settings, for example, the input distance, all right, you can do that. How about the background color and stuff? Let's suppose you wanna change the background color of this, you can do that, right? Make it somewhat, let's say, translucent. Uh, and what else? Let's suppose placeholder color, okay? Let's suppose you wanna make it red. I mean, you know, just, just for showing for the example purpose, you wanna bring it in the center. Uh, I mean, you can do any kind of stuff over here, right? You want to increase the text size, border radius, or whatever it is, right? You can see the border radius moving, right? You can see it. Okay, let's make it like this. Uh, what else? Okay, so we are done with the styling, right? Um, you can change the label and stuff, yeah, right? You, that is totally up to you. Now, uh, you need to go to the settings, okay? The settings tab right over here. And over here, what you need to do is, let's suppose over here we also want to collect mobile number, right? So uh, you need to select this thing, particular thing, select input type, and you need to click on phone number and add it over here, all right? Uh, first thing, I mean, you can take care of the styling of these uh, upcoming fields, right? You can take care of that. Uh, besides that, if you wanna add more fields, you can do that, right? Uh, anything over here. Just in case you have some other field that you wanna collect, let's suppose. So you can click on add custom field and you can add it over here. Let's suppose, uh, let's say type your message, all right? Uh, input type, text, uh, placeholder once again, uh, type your message. Okay, so we have two more fields over here, right? Uh, one thing that you need to remember is, when we are talking about standard integration, okay, let's do one more thing. Uh, when somebody, um, you know, signs up using this form, we wanna redirect them to google.com, okay? Uh, totally up to you, you wanna redirect them in this window, new window, let's keep it to this window for this particular example. And now, 
Now is the time you need to uh, select the list, okay, for the order responder that you have selected. So uh, you click on this button over here. Let me show you once again. You click on this connect here button once again, okay. So in my case, I have uh, integrated Active Campaign and Aweber. So I need to select my list, right? So you need to select that to which particular list you want to pass on the data. Uh, I wanna pass on the data to my test list, all right? And uh, now, do you want to pass on some tags? Uh, let's suppose you wanna pass some tag, let's say, you know, uh, let's say Flexi demo. So this is a new tag that I'm creating. So, you know, uh, I need to type it uh, and type comma and, you know, it will be created as a new tag. Just in case you type something, and uh, it will show you some of the existing tags just in case you want to pick up some existing tags for example so this is a new tag that i'm passing okay so this is saved as you can see this is active this is still showing select list i can uh, you know connect other autoresponders as well so one good thing with flexi funnels is that uh, you can uh, pass on the data to multiple autoresponders at the same time you can connect like 10 autoresponders right over here and the data would be passed to all 10 of them okay so i want to pass once again let's suppose flexi okay test abc all right and let's say flexi abc all right so this is a existing tag this is a new tag and let's click on save all right so now we have uh, clicked on save over here so now this form is good to go actually you can click on publish all right uh, just in case you wanna play around with the settings of this page a bit more for example you know you wanna come over here let's say you wanna increase the padding of this entire section i mean you can do that you know play around with the text settings over here just in case you can do that i will make it a bit bold right and maybe you know just in case you wanna uh, give it a background let's suppose uh, give it a white color background just like you know the section was right over here you wanna add a headline right over here. Okay, let's copy it. Let's let's you know try and make it like this. Oh, all right. So let me copy this, and maybe I wanna add another headline right over here. All right. Um. Okay. What was the tag? Uh, text. Okay, so free live webinar, I wanna click over here and go to settings, take settings, um, reduce the size a bit, make it red in color. All right, so we have made uh, kind of a hyper mixture of <laughs> everything, okay? I will, I will bring it to the center somewhat over here. And uh, yeah, one more thing is, I mean, I can play around with the settings. And uh, by the way, just in case you wanna have a background like this, you can have that, you know, you need to click on the outer section, um, go to the background, select a background. Let's suppose this is black in color right now, right? You can see it. Uh, you wanna increase or decrease the opacity, you can take care of that. I will highly recommend you to watch the designing workshops. You are going to learn a lot from there, okay? So make sure you do that. And let's click on publish once again, okay? So our page along with the design is good to go, ready to go, and you know, this is great. And let's wait for it to publish right over here. All right, great. So let's click on the published URL. Okay, so we have it over here. Now what I need to do is, I need to select the data, all right. Um, let's suppose I wanna add the email ID uh, let's say, you know, just random test email ID so that I don't uh, merge it with the existing one. Type your message. All right, now this is something which is important. I need to, you know, tell you this thing. So let's suppose, uh, let me copy it and, you know, submit the form. So as per the instructions, the form has redirected to google.com. Now this part is sorted. Let me take you to my active campaign and Aweber account and let's have a look that whether the data has passed there or not, right? So let me go to the contacts in Aweber. Let me go to my subscribers and uh, go to add it today, all right? Okay, let me copy the email ID that we had passed on right now. As you can see, the email ID is right over here. The phone number that I had selected is right over here. The name that I had entered is right over here. 
uh, the tag that we had created is right over here and it has got subscribed to test list right so this is active campaign this is the email id right over here for this particular contact uh, if you will see both the tags are right over here the email id is here my name is here and is it subscribed to the right list uh, where can i see that uh, is it subscribed to the test list or what of course it is subscribed to the test list but where can i see that <laughs> okay uh, don't worry about it it is going to be subscribed to the same list only all right uh, yeah test list all right so test list it is okay so as you can see that the data has passed but one thing that you need to remember is that when you are using the standard auto you know standard integration of uh, with any autoresponder for example you know you you have connected the autoresponder right over here when you are using the standard integration with any autoresponder uh basically these two fields uh name and email these two fields name and email these two fields are always the standard fields that every order responder they accept it and it depends upon order responder to order responder whether any other field is a standard field or not for example phone number as you can see has got passed in active campaign because this is a standard field in active campaign but phone number is not a standard field in aweber all right so it is never going to get passed there is a solution to that i'm going to show you in the next video which is the order responder pass code uh, uh, integration all right but when you are using the standard integration the phone number is not going to pass only the name and email so you need to test that whether for your order responder is it only the name and email that is getting passed or all the fields at the same time what about the other fields we also had other fields right we we had a field like let's say type your message or let's suppose it can be anything address zip file you know zip uh, city whatever it is so all this data the extra data which is not the standard data okay standard data is name and email only so all the extra data that you are going to add to flexi funnels in the form of this or as a custom field this is something that we are going to show you in a report inside flexi funnels okay so you are going to get the report inside flexi funnel itself in the reporting dashboard so you know in any case you are not going to miss the data at all because we are going to store all the data and we are going to show you all the data inside the reports all right just that it is never going to get passed to order responder because it is not a standard field and they do not accept it via api all right so that's the only thing that you need to keep in mind but there is still a solution to that i'm going to show you in the next video which is the uh order responder pass code integration all right so yeah this is it for this particular video i'm gonna see you in the next one